giggling. Okay, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a banner ad today. And so uh, this kind of follows the, not necessarily what's in Chapter 4 of Classroom in a Book in Adobe, but it follows this, what you, basically the tweening stuff you learn in that chapter. And so uh, in a sense, we're not doing exactly what's in the chapter. We're covering all the concepts with different things. And the reason uh, banner ads are so important is because of e-commerce. Now let me give you a little bit of history here, and it's going to show you my age a little bit. In the days when I was you know, growing up, when I was your age, the big thing on the internet was pop-ups. Everyone loved pop-ups, and there were classes on how to build pop-ups, and we were all making pop-ups, pop-ups, pop-ups. And whenever a pop-up came up, you clicked on it, and you made money, right? And, you know, and then go to your site, or you, go, you find something, you buy it, and pop-ups, pop-ups, pop-ups. Now, whenever you go to a site and pop-ups come up right now, what do you think? Boring. Virus. Virus, virus, right? Think, right? Pop -up market. Yeah, get that. Yeah, so we don't we don't like pop ups now. Pop ups are bad. So what, ha what? So the industry has to find another way of doing this, and that is banner ads. Now, let me just explain a little bit about how the, how everything has changed. In the old days, you'd go to the site and you look at it, you click a pop up, and you buy something, right? But in these days, you 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 really don't go to the site what to click a pop up. You actually don't even go to the site to click a banner ad. But in many sites that you go to, you see the little banners in the side or the corner or on the top, you know. And here's an example of a banner. I believe it's about. Let's take a look at the size here. If I go to image, for example, go to image size. You can see this pop up is 728 by 90. And I'm going to show you how to easily make pop ups in Flash because there's a pop up template. So, and you can put them anywhere on the page, and typically at the top is the best, you know, and then kind of on the left, then kind of on the right, you know, is it, right top is actually also good uh, real, real estate. Now, sometimes pop-ups on the side of the page right here get a lot of uh, uh, hits. Do you have any idea why? Sometimes even toward the bottom they get lots of hits. Do you have any idea why? Because they're making a mistake and they're hitting the navigation bar. So sometimes people convince you that's the best place to put a pop-up, but not necessarily. It may get the most clicks, but they may be accidental clicks. And users don't like to go to sites accidentally, I'll tell you that. Yeah. And the other thing users don't like, too, is when they go to a site. Ever go to a site and you can't get off it? That's when you quit. I hate that. So I get off that site and never go back again. I hate that when that happens to me. Absolutely. And so uh, typically I like to put a pop-up either here, you know, maybe here and definitely here at the top. And so what people are doing now is, in a sense, they're selling information. So in the days before you guys, me, it was information was expensive. It was hard to find on the web. Now there's so much information on the web, you've got to try to figure out how to filter through it. Just take Wikipedia, for example, and or YouTube, or um, iTunes, or any internet site. So blogs and everything use pop-ups because people want information. They want to go places. They'll use Twitter, and they'll use Facebook for viral advertising. And then they'll take you to a site, and you'll go there, and you'll be getting all that wonderful information. You go, oh, by the way, that looks really interesting. I want to know how to lose 25 pounds. You see some really sexy person, you go, oh, you click on that, or, or you know, I'm you got mortgage problems. You see all the mortgage, you know, calculate your mortgage, or you got credit card problems, or just there are just tons of different pop-ups for whatever you do. So while you're learning all this great information about something, or maybe there's a, a Twitter blog, and you're following it, and you end up you go to it, and, there, and it's about golfing, and on the side of it, there's like you know somewhere to buy golf clubs. So you can see what people do is they actually charge by the click. So depending on how many clicks you make, you uh, you have to pay that much. So I think it's maybe a uh, dollar for 100 clicks or something like that. You know. Or it's even more depending on what the site is. It could be uh, $10 for 100 clicks depending on you know what what how important that site is. Now I now there's some sites that will guarantee you so many clicks, and so you'll pay more high you'll high, pay a higher premium for their site. So this is the new way to make money. And if you get into uh, e-commerce, you'll definitely be building banner ads, and we'll be bu building banner ads today. So before we start this banner ad, let's uh, go to Flash. And I want to show you how you would start a banner ad in Flash. Uh, you want to go to File, and you want to go to New. And you want to go to Templates. You see that? And in Templates, you can go to Advertising. And in Advertising, you see there's all types of banners here. 120 by 240, 120 by 60, 120 by 600. 120 by 90, 125 by 125, 160 by 600. You know, so they can be vertical or they can be horizontal. We're actually going to look at today 728 by 90, and that's a letterhead board. Okay? You guys got that? So uh, there's also a, a banner template if you want to go to a banner template, and they have some different sizes there as well. There's websites out there that suggest how to make banners and actually what sizes those should be. 
But for tonight, I'm going to want you guys to go down and click on 728 by 90, and we'll create a little letterhead banner. Now, before we do that, I want to talk about Photoshop, because in the old days when I worked with Flash, I'd create layers, create an image, drop it into Flash, go create another image, drop it into Flash on a keyframe, go create another image, drop it into Flash on a keyframe, and tween it and do whatever, okay? In this particular case, you see I've been, I'm have been i starting to build my banner. So if I just grab my scrub head and just scrub along, you can see the banner changes, okay? So I'm going to have, actually have a double, ba double banner here. And mine says, be there always. And then the other part, you don't see it right here. It says, wire, wire on the go. And, and I'm going to finish this up during this lecture, okay? Now what I'm going to want you guys to do, as far as you get tonight, okay, I want you to keep working on your banner over the weekend. And, or, or next week and show me your finished banner in class. Okay, that'll be your assignment. I'm going to grade you on that assignment. So you can get as much work as you can done tonight. Okay, and I'm here to help you and then finish it up over the week. All right, and bring it and show you how cool it is. I could give you an A, a B, a, a C, a D or F. Right, absolutely. And since you guys are the smartest guys in the school, I'm expecting A's. Oh, <laughs> A pluses, absolutely.